Do you hear me, students? Lakshmi, please mute yourself. Ravi, I am not able to see you. Can you unmute your video? If you live in a home that has children, odds are that you would have heard a lot more like this on a fairly regular basis from your living room. It is very clear and obvious that the world has changed dramatically and people from all spheres of life are facing the effects. People are adapting to an extent that they have never had to before and few more so than teachers. Uh, when we envision teachers, we think of someone who stands in front of a class full of students, chalk in their hand, their mere presence enough to hold the attention of room full of teenagers for better part of an hour. Unfortunately, the pandemic has taken the children away, the classroom, the chalk out of the teacher's hands, and worst of all, the larger than life presence of the teacher, which is now a small rectangle in a mobile screen. Despite all this, saying that teachers are holding their own would be an understatement. Teachers have taken this up as a challenge and learned how to use technology. They teach over the internet, conduct quizzes, make videos and still somehow manage to hold the attention of the students. With their customary zeal, they have tackled this all as they would with any problem. And now is the time for all of us to take a moment to thank them for all the beautiful work they do. Uh, my heartfelt pronounce to you, dear teachers, for your tremendous effort. The world would definitely not be a better place but for you, but for your work. Thank you, teachers.